today. And today we're going to have a game of Slap Fight on the Amstrad CPC. This is a game I haven't played before back in the day, but I have reviewed a another version, a homebrew version called um, Archon. Is it Argon? 20 or something? Argon something. It was a homebrew game made for the Plus Panic. But this is the original game. Um, the original arcade came out in 1986. Never played that back in the day. Right, so we've got some options here. Keyboard. Oh, so you get to read your keys. Right, what button do I use to select my power up then? Why well, can't I have a, a key to redefine on that? What well, am I supposed to know now? Anyway, let's play it. One player, so I'm taking this two player. Oh my god. Oh, you push space. Fire button to select your power up. got a small playing window. That is very small. Right, I don't want to get another speed up yet. Oh! Ah, oh, what? Fuck it! And I lose my power up. Oh, do I? I can't hold you. It's so... I don't like that. So you've got to wait on this version to you shot to it or go out the screen. Until you can fire again. You can do a rapid fire, but look at that, that's quite slow. Oh see I can see the bullets then. It's blended in with the background. Even though it's nice and colourful, but those those projectiles are so small. When it goes over the landscape, you can't see the fucking... That's a, that's a bit of a problem. Now, I could have redefined another key to select your power-ups. I don't understand why they're using fire button to do that. Or you just hold your... F I think you just hold it down. Oh, fuck off! I didn't see that! Slip the power up. What is wrong with this fucking thing? That's weird. Close. Now the graphics are nice and colourful, but the playing window is fucking small. Considering the Commodore 64 version used the old entire screen. Oh, here we go. And the uh, and oh, fucking what happened there? I didn't see that. And the actual scores and the uh, lives. And the power ups are actually in the border. Actually, I do prefer the Commodore 64 version, to be honest with you. Because the problem with this 
you can't the bullet the projectiles are so small it's really difficult to see you, see that time I was I'm finding this quite annoying why couldn't they make the fucking you know like when you fire you can see it he's got different colours why couldn't they see this it's basically just a fucking full stop what I'm getting for, or is it what it's white full stops? Right. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, that was close. But you can pretty much use the yellow into. Oh, fuck it now. I didn't see once again, I didn't see it. What blew me up? Ooh. Oh, what the f. I'm gonna miss that one. Ah, oh, bollocks. Being an arcade conversion, this would have cost full price. I'm sorry, full price you would have been getting ripped off. This is not worth worth full price. Imagine you've done the conversion off the ocean, imagine. And we had, you know, imagine do con convert some good games. Renegade, Target Renegade, they are fucking fantastic games on the CPC. Oh, fucking hell. I think we'll leave that one there. It's starting to annoy me. Yes, yeah, so we've got a small player window. I don't like the enemy's projectiles. You can't really see them at times. And they're like a little full stop. Why well, can't I have just made it a little bit chunky, you know? So you can fucking see them at least. Um, it's a shame because it's got some nice colourful graphics. I tell you, I tell you something, I tell you, Tato. Renegade was Tato as well. And that was a much better job. That was a much better job. That was just brilliant. That was. Um, music doesn't sound bad, but then again, the arcade music wasn't brilliant. Um, I don't know. I played better shoot 'em up games. I have played that. Um, it's just an average conversion, to be honest with you. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.